Good morning, I'm Aisha Tolliver. Here are your Sunday morning headlines. Looking ahead to tomorrow, the rules are changing at two local school districts. Virginia Beach and Chesapeake will make masks optional for students in line with the governor's orders. In Virginia Beach, the mask mandate will technically remain in effect, but parents will be allowed to opt out. Earlier last week, Tonight on Your Side spoke with Superintendent Dr. Aaron Spence about how it's going to work. He said parents must provide information to the school district and directions on how to do that came out this weekend. Masks will still be mandatory on school buses, at after school events, and for all teachers. We're following some developing news this morning. Virginia Marine Police have reported that one person is dead and another is missing after a boat capsized in the Chincoteague Bay. The call came in around 9.30 yesterday morning. Four people ventured out on a duck hunt boat when it was hit by a wave and they all went into the water. Two people were rescued by Good Samaritans. 18-year-old Corey Ailes of Bentonville, Virginia was pulled from the water dead. A 17-year-old boy is still missing after the wreck. The Virginia Marine Police will resume their search this morning. And a woman is in serious condition after a crash in the Monitor Merrimack Memorial Bridge Tunnel. This happened around 6 yesterday evening. A woman driving a Dodge Durango collided with a Mercedes inside the tunnel. The woman was trying to change lanes to pass a car in front of her. Four children were in the Durango in addition to the driver, and they were all transported to Sentara Norfolk General after the accident. The cause of the crash is under investigation. Now let's go ahead and get a check of the weather with meteorologist Ricky. This morning, starting off with a few clouds in the sky. Nice sunrise here as we overlook Glen Haven Inlet and uh, overlook the uh, shot here from 3556 on the bay. Uh, cold start today, though. That's the big story today, the cold temperatures. Okay, we're not going to warm up to where we should be. We will be warmer than we were yesterday, but certainly starting off cold this morning. 20 degrees in Chesapeake, 22 in Norfolk, and 19 in Wallops Island. Here's what we look like hour by hour today. Good amount of sunshine earlier in the morning. Then I think some high clouds will work their way in even more into the afternoon and evening. Highs in the upper 30s, low 40s across the region. Keep in mind, though, there still could be a few slick spots, especially side roads, back roads this morning. A little bit of black ice in spots with the temperatures starting off this cold. So if you do have to get out and travel, you want to keep that in mind, especially across parts of southern south side and into northeast North Carolina.